Los Angeles Police, they're offering cash to catch a suspect who uh, is involved in a violent crime spree. CBS 5 reporter Alyssa Harrington is in San Jose where one suspect is under arrest. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning. This 7-Eleven parking lot on South Kylie Boulevard is where a man was shot and killed during a carjacking, marking the city's 42nd homicide of the year. Right there, you can see a vigil for 22-year-old Rory Park Pettiford, an innocent man who was inside of his car when he was shot. Now, one of the shooters is on the run with police actively searching and offering a $10,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. Police did take one person into custody, 26-year-old Jonathan Wilbanks. He was caught after a two-hour crime spree that included a series of robberies, a police chase, a shooting that injured an officer, and a carjacking that left a man dead. The pair robbed four places at gunpoint, a Little Caesars on Story Road, a gas station on East Capitol, a Jack in the Box on Kurtner Avenue, and a spa on Bird Avenue. The men then wanted to exchange cars to make their getaway and shot 22-year-old Rory Park Pettiford from San Jose while carjacking him in a 7-Eleven parking lot. Police spotted that car on Highway 101 near Interstate 280 and tried to stop it. They didn't stop, so we chased them. And eventually that pursuit ended up in East San Jose in the area of Tully and Lanai. And at that point, one of the suspects jumped out of the car, opened fire on the officers. And his patrol car was struck several times. The officer was injured. That officer was treated at the hospital and later released. Police returned fire and hit Will Banks. Now, despite his injuries, he still tried to flee from officers in his car, but was caught after crashing on Cunningham Avenue. His accomplice fled on foot and is still out there. Anyone with information is asked to call police, and I do have a phone number. It's area code 408-947-7867 or the word stop. That's the number you should call if you have information. And again, a $10,000 reward is being offered for any information that does lead to an arrest. In San Jose, Alyssa Harrington, CBS 5. Alyssa, thank you. A judge could decide today whether Juan Go is mentally competent to be tried for seven murders. Go was arrested in April for the shooting spree at Oikos University in Oakland. Psychiatrists who have examined Go are due to report to court this afternoon. And a vigil is planned in Hayward in just a few hours to remember Michaela Garrick. She was nine years old when she was kidnapped from in front of a store on Mission Boulevard 24 years ago this morning. 